Couple of things about choosing bacon. I always think thicker is better when you're cooking with it. Uh, sometimes when you're frying it in the pan, you might like it a little thinner, but for cooking, part of the point of picking bacon is to actually render the fat off, so a little bit thicker is my preferred. If it says that it has sugar, make sure that it says raw sugar or turbinado sugar, something to that effect, and make sure that it has no more than one gram of sugar per serving. The reason sugar's on the label with bacon, if it's a good high quality bacon, is because sugar is used as a curative. So that sugar in that bacon is not necessarily going to be uh, in the bacon when you eat it. Now, maple flavored bacon is a different story, <laughs> and that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about bacon that has a little bit of sugar in the ingredients to cook with. Most everything that you find at a high quality grocery store is pretty good. Make sure there's no nitrites or nitrates in there as well. All right. First thing we're gonna do, you see I've stacked four slices on top of each other. I'm just gonna cut down the middle. It can be a little tricky. Nice sharp knife is beneficial. I'll go down each side and cut it up so that the pieces are roughly, hmm, you know, a half inch or so. If they're not all perfect, not the end of the world. So. That's about the size of the bacon that we want to cut. That's it. That's how you prep your bacon.